Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. A few weeks ago I did something a bit different. I did an edit on this image using Lightroom. Then I used something that Adobe calls Remix to share it with the world. Remix allows me to share images that I edited in Lightroom and then other people could edit the same images their way. And many of you took advantage of that and you did your own edit on my image. Well, today I'm going to do that again, except this time we're going to edit this image. If you haven't seen that first video I'm talking about where I introduce Remix, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. Now, when I'm talking about editing in Lightroom as far as Remix is concerned, I'm talking about what Adobe calls Lightroom, what some people call Lightroom in the cloud, or what internally Adobe calls the desktop version of Lightroom. That's not Lightroom Classic, so you cannot do this with Lightroom Classic. You have to use that Lightroom version that many people, again, call Lightroom in the cloud. This is what you're looking at right now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick edit on this image, and then I'm going to share it through that remix that I mentioned. And when I do that, I'll get a link to it. And in the description below this video, I'll have listed that link. And you'll be able to go over there and edit the image your way. So let's get an edit on this image. Now first I'm going to crop it. So I'm going to go to the crop tool and I want to get the lifeguard stand in the rule of thirds area and I'd like the horizon line also on a rule of thirds area. So I'm going to pull down here a little bit. So I'm going to tighten up the image a little bit. So maybe something like that. So I have the lifeguard stand right at that uh, point of intersection and I have the horizon line on the lower rule of thirds line. So I like that. We'll close that down. We'll go to the edit panel and I'm just going to do a very simple edit on this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll bring down highlights a bit, try to get a little more detail out of the clouds, open up the shadows a bit. I'm going to get a white point. I'm going to hold in the option key on my Mac. It's alt key on a PC. When I do that, I'll get that black screen and I'm going to keep pushing that up till I see some color pop through and then I'm going to back it off until all that color just barely disappears. And then similarly for blacks, I'll again hold that option key in. It's alt key on a PC and I'll pull this to the left this time until I see some color come through. And I want to clip that a little bit. When I'm clipping um, the blacks in this case, that means I'm getting absolute black. If you're clipping the whites, you're getting absolute white. Usually I don't like to clip the whites at all. If you went to print an image that had clipped whites or clipped highlights, there wouldn't be any ink laid down in that area at all, so you wouldn't have any detail. Conversely, if you are clipping the blacks, you'll just get black ink put down. Again, no detail, but I like a lot of tonal depth in my image, so I tend to clip the blacks a little bit and not clip the highlights. That's the way I like to do it. Everyone's a little different. You could do it your way, and that's the whole idea of doing this remix. So you could edit this image your way. So I think I'm done with the light part of it. I'm not going to, it's pretty colorful. I'm not going to come in here. I'm not going to add any, anything there. I think what I want to do is I want to add a mask to it. And I'm going to select the sky and let it detect the sky. And once it does, I think what we'll do is, you can see the overlay there. I think what we'll do is I'm going to add some clarity uh, to the sky and some texture. And I think we'll add a little bit of sharpness, maybe. And um, I think we'll add some saturation to the sky here. So I'm going to make the sky a little bluer, just like that. And I think that's fine. So I'm done there. I'm going to go back up to the Edit panel, and we'll go to the Detail tab. And I'm going to zoom in. Oops, I want to zoom in, actually. We'll zoom in, like, right here. And there is some noise there. So what we'll do is I'm going to add some noise reduction. 
Yeah, I pretty much got rid of it. Add a little bit of sharpening, not much. So I'm not doing a lot to this um, at all. I think I'm pretty much done. So I think we'll go to effects and we'll add a vignette. The vignette, just darkening the edges, it kind of pushes everyone's attention more towards the middle of the image. And that's it. That is my edit. So I'm going to leave it at that. Very simple. What I'll do now is I'll share it to Remix. To do that, we're going to go up to the Share icon in the top right-hand corner. Go down to the bottom, Share to Discover. And then from there, it'll bring us to this screen. And I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to... I had the, uh, I think that image I did a few weeks ago that I shared on Remix, I called it the Lonely Park Bench. Why don't we call this the Lonely uh, Guard Tower? I should call it Life Guard Tower, but that's fine. And I could um, give it an edit of your own for the description. I'm not going to do too much there. Let's go with a category. It's a landscape image. And um, I guess you could say it's nature a little bit. And I don't think I need a third category. I'm going to enable save as a preset. That means if you like my edit and you want a preset of my edit, you'll be able to download that. And I'm not going to include location info. It's not really needed. I'm going to allow remixing. I'm going to turn that on. And then um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, just like that. And we're going to share it right here click right there and it's submitting my edit or submitting your edit it says and once it does it's going to give me a link right here so I'm going to take this link and I'm going to save it and then I'll be that will allow you then to come in and edit this image uh, as you see fit and again I'll have that listed in the description below this video um, had a lot of fun looking at the edits other people did to my previous image. So I look forward uh, to seeing the edits on this image as well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.